in the mountains of Sundar Pattan lives an unusual yet extremely majestic species. With horns and hooves, these masters of the mountains live in some of the highest points of this Nepal map. The Tar. Now, while really these should be fully labelled as Himalayan Tar, currently in game they are known simply as Tar, so to avoid confusion, that is how I will refer to them in this video. Now, as mentioned, this is a mountain dwelling species, and has already been revealed, they do not have any drink zones. They do have feed and rest zones, mostly within the higher points of the map, with a few extending down to the edges of the rhododendron forests. Hunting them in this environment is a challenge, and sometimes their zones can be in unfortunately brushy areas. It was also revealed a little while ago that this species is in fact the new Great One species in the Hunter Call of the Wild. The Great One Tar can come in seven fur variations, those being the Fabled Skull, the Fabled Scars, the Fabled Gold, the Fabled Latte, the Fabled Grey, the Fabled Half, and the Fabled Snow. This is the most fur variant of any great one in game. One question on everyone's mind is, are the tar grindable? Well, the answer is yes they are, the same as any other species. However, it's certainly not going to be as easy as some other species. It will be interesting to see how everyone's feeling is toward the home environment of these animals upon full release of the map. However, Turning back to non-Great One Tar, and we have plenty of fur variations for those too. The most common fur you will encounter with this species is Red Brown. Then there are a couple of uncommon variations, those being Straw and Light Brown. Then we move to Rare Fur Varieties. During this early access, I have been lucky enough to encounter and harvest two rare furs those being a white fur type male and a red fur type female. While red may not look especially rare, trust me, I've hunted a good amount of tar during my early access tests and it's certainly no common or uncommon. I did not find any other red tar. And the white fur, well, I think it speaks for itself. We also know there is an albino fur type for the tar and possibly even more rare fur types out there. When following tracks for this species, the max weight estimate track to watch out for is 117 to 140 kg. It is the males of this species that make diamond with their characteristic lion-like manes that make them stand out easily among any females. These males will max at level five normally unless they are a 10 fabled great one, of course. And should you spot a level five, the score you are looking for is 101.87 for a diamond. During early access, I have been able to harvest a few of these awesome diamonds. And let me tell you, it's very obvious when you spot a diamond potential for this species. The much larger horns are a quick giveaway. They really stand out amongst a group of smaller ones. This species is a class 4, so make sure to keep an ethical weapon on you at all times when in the mountains should a rare opportunity at a trophy arise. This species is surely going to provide a challenging hunt or grind for anyone choosing to go after them, not only due to their home range, but also their awesome senses. They are very alert and fast to spook, and you will need to be very stealthy to get close to them. Listen out for their distinctive high-pitched whistle alarm call to let you know that some are alarmed or alerted and about to spook. So if you decide to chase after a rare, diamond, or even a great one tar, prepare yourself for the challenge when this species comes to the game on June 18th. 